Okay. The first thing that you'll want to do is log into Crystal and go to admin, and then to integrations, then to telemedicine. And from here, you'll select the doctor that you'd like to uh, use telemedicine with. Um, I'll be selecting George Cooney. And you'll want to make sure the information here is relevant. Uh, you can import from the company and it'll pull the company information down. If it's a different location, um, you'll have to manually set that. And make sure at the bottom you put down your profession and your time zone. Um, so it's central time and OD. And then all you have to do is click the sign up button. And you should get a response saying registered. Um, your account is now active and live on iCare Live. Um, you can test that by clicking the login button. All right. Uh, so I just clicked that button and now I'm logged into the account. Um, from here, you can set up your profile and uh, make other changes um, that you'd like to make to it, enter your NPI number, um, more detailed contact information and things like that. Um, but your account is active and live to go, but I would definitely uh, configure it before you start sending it to patients. Here, we're gonna go into the records. And I'm gonna bring up my patient. From here, you'll see a new item at the top here. Uh, it's called iCare Live. Um, you can do the login, which will bring up the default login window. Um, or you can send this patient over to iCare Live. That way, instead of having them log into iCare Live and register, uh, this basically takes that patient's profile and automatically uh, creates it. And I'll go ahead and show you the steps for that. So it'll say patient sent to iCare Live. What this did is it created that patient in the iCare Live system and automatically generated an email. And I will show you that email. Right. So here's the email that the uh, patient is going to receive. It's going to have the doctor's names, account details, and thank you for registering. Um, it's going to ask you to download the application um, directly. So if you have an Android or Apple device, um, you can download it from there. Once the patient has completed their um, self-examination through the iCare Live app, you can review it within uh, the iCare Live website. And again, you can do that from the admin section or from the login um, from the medical record side and review that encounter. Um, the other option you've got is to send the patient. And again, we already sent this patient once. If you try to send them more than once, it will say this user's already been registered. But once that patient has filled out the information online, you can pull their information back into Crystal um, and you can view it from here with the view files. So this is all the images that they may have uploaded and any information they may have filled out um, or any final consultation you may have performed on that examination. And if you double click on these files, it will bring them up. If the file is beneath eight megs, it will bring up a save window um, to demonstrate it. Uh, a lot of the cameras on some of these smartphones they'll be using are much higher than eight megs. Um, so like this file is larger than eight megs, it's not even gonna bring up the prompt to save the file because it cannot be saved within Crystal. Um, this files will always be here uh, stored in the iCare Live. So there really is no need to pull it back into Crystal. Um, but if you want to, you definitely can. Um, these same options here, these three login, send, patient, and view files can also be added to a button and added to any part of the examination form. So if you prefer to have them on your A&P tab um, or some other location, you can definitely do that. So um, they're going to have the same exact functionality as the uh, iCare Live uh, buttons from at the top. Thank you for watching the video. Um, we will try to make these uh, more frequent and uh, more usable in the future. Thanks.